I'm going to show you how you can significantly accelerate your product research to find high demand, low competition, profitable products on walmart.com. We all love product research, but you know how time consuming it can be going through product after product after product. Well, I want to show you how with using DataSpark, you can accelerate your product research by not doing it at the product level, but at the brand level. This helps you find very profitable, high demand, low competition brands that you can go secure and now get sometimes dozens, or maybe even hundreds of items that you can add to your catalog. And if you stick around, we're going to give you access to a prototype that we've been building that we've been using ourselves. I'll show you how. I want to show you something that we call our, our brand rollup feature right within our Chrome extension. So you can look at our previous videos and I'll put a link down to the description if you don't already have the Chrome extension on how to get that installed. But once you have it installed and you're out here on Walmart, let's suppose that we're looking at the, the niche of camera tripods. Now we've shown you in a previous video how you can go through these one by one, look at our Chrome extension and see if this is a high demand, low competition, profitable product that you want to sell. But what if you want to evaluate the brand overall? That is so much faster. So I'm going to come here and I'm just going to open a product page for each of the brands that I see, just the unique ones. Okay, that's a few of them. Let's get started with that. You'll notice right here we have these 30 day brand metrics. This brand has 2,456 items. So we are rolling up all of the sales revenue that we see in the last 30 days for that brand and displaying it here. And we're doing the same with the number of units. So this thing is a very high demand brand. We're also then telling you what is the average selling price or ASP on this brand. So this one is usually $75. This must be one of the lower price point items. Then we're telling you the total number of re reviews. This is just another indication that this is a high demand brand that's getting a lot of reviews from customers. On average, those reviews are 4.2 stars. And you can see that it's had 10,678 new reviews in the last 30 days. So there's definitely movement happening on this brand. Now, here's the downside to this one. We're also gonna show you the competition. Right now, Walmart ships 92.3% of those 144,198 units that are being shipped, okay? So very high demand on the part of Walmart. They carry this brand, not something you're probably very interested in. WFS is at 0%. So of that other almost 8% that's in here that's not being shipped by Walmart, there aren't that many people that are offering WFS or two-day shipping. So if you wanted to click here, we could go in and find the ones that are not doing WFS and don't have two day shipping and perhaps would want to uh, do those. And I'll show you how to do that here in just a second. Now, here's the thing I do like, it has about 40 sellers and that tells you that you, this is a brand that you can get have access to. Uh, 40 other people have gotten access to this. You probably can too if you push hard enough. Uh, on average, there's only one offer uh, per SKU. So you can see here, this one actually only has an in-store Walmart offer going for it. This thing ranks for 6,000 keywords overall for this brand. So let's suppose that you are interested in that 8% because you think, hey, Walmart is driving a lot of this traffic. A lot of these keywords that it's ranking for are probably happening for Walmart. So some sellers like this approach here of coming in here and saying, I'm gonna try to pick up the scraps. That 8% that doesn't have WFS, I'm gonna put it into two day WFS shipping so that I can win all the sales on that. So the way you do this is you're gonna click on this and it's gonna take you over here to our advanced search feature where that brand equals the on brand. And we're gonna wait for that to load. And then I'll show you how you can find those exact items that don't have Walmart on them. Okay, so here we've loaded this catalog. This is the entire catalog that we have of this on brand. Now we have all the information here in these columns about the rank, the price, the competition, the demand, everything that you might want to have. I'm gonna go ahead and sort it by the number of units um, up at the top. So now I have the best selling products up here at the top. Now, what I wanted to do was come over here and we have the Walmart 30 day buy box percentage. And you can see on most of these items, they're winning the buy box. Well, if I wanna find where they are not winning the buy box, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit put a zero in here. And it's now gonna take out any where Walmart has won the buy box in the last 30 days. Okay, and you can see on average, I've got about one offer on those. I can come back over here and see what these are. Now I can come over here and double check 
that these don't have WFS or two day shipping. You can see this one does. If I want to exclude it, I can click on this and then click on it again. And now I'm going to have all the ones that don't have two day shipping. I'm going to do the same for WFS. So now if I want to go source this, I know I have high demand, low competition products within this brand to do this. Now, this isn't my favorite way to do product sourcing where you're looking for brands where Walmart is already competing. What we really want to find are ones where you don't have Walmart at all. So let's see if we could find that. So we opened some other brands here. So let's just look at this. And now you can see at a glance the demand and the competition. This one has 9,000 in sales. Okay, that's great if I could pick that up. The thing I don't like about this is when I look over here at the competition, there's only three sellers. That's kind of too low. I would imagine this is probably a private label brand that I'm not going to be able to get access to and I don't want to waste my time trying. Let's keep moving. Okay, this one's interesting. Uh, 37 sellers, $3,000 a month in sales. Um, I like that. So that looks good. No Walmart and there's some WFS. This one's pretty interesting. It looks like there's probably only one WFS seller on this thing and they're not covering the entire catalog. So I'm gonna go ahead and look at this one, the 1,965 items here. Uh, just double check everything that we looked at, that it all pencils out. And then I'm gonna go and track down this brand of how I can carry their products. If 37 other people have gotten access to this, I can get access to it as well. Let's keep moving. Uh, wow, this one, 200,000. Ooh, Walmart's on it, but not as big. Already covered with WFS, has a lot of competition. Really high demand, not as interesting from the competition standpoint, so that one's kind of up to you. Let's keep moving. Another $9,000 a month, only three sellers, one offer, probably not. $11,000 a month in sales, nine sellers, hmm, average 1.8, no Walmart, no WFS. This is an interesting one. Let's go after this one for sure. If nine other people are able to get access to it, yeah, hopefully we can as well, be the 10th one, be the first one to offer WFS, and we'll take the majority of that $11,000 in sales. So that's a great one to go after. So you can see how quickly you can go through here and just look at brand after brand after brand and find amazing brands now that you know are high demand, low competition, but that you can get access to through wholesale uh, and contacting this brand as other people have done it as well. So I hope that really can accelerate your product and brand research and find high demand, low competition, profitable products to sell. Now I promised you to show you something that I think is really amazing and how you can get access to this that we've used. One of the best ways of finding a lot of brands that you have access to that have already indicated they're interested in working with online sellers, which so many are not, is using a wholesale directory. One of our favorites is Worldwide Brands. When you come in here to Worldwide Brands, you can come in here, they have all these products that are here, but the problem when you're on here is you're like, well, I have to know what the demand is and that's back in my data spark data but I have all this data over here how do I marry those two together this is where we've built something where you can take a list of brands that could be from a wholesale directory from a trade show from whatever location where there's a list of brands and you can pop them right into this wholesale directory brand finder we will marry them up with our data and boom, you can now just filter the entire catalog of brands on Walmart to find the high demand, low competition, profitable items that you can sell. It doesn't get any easier than this. They've already indicated through these directories that they want new sellers. Start contacting them, hounding them, find them at a trade show, do whatever you have to do to get them to say yes, and you've now grown your e-commerce business. So if you're interested in this, I want you to email support at datasparkco mention this video, and let us know that you're interested. You will need to be out here on the DataSpark Power Plus plan in order to get access to these brand metrics in the Chrome extension, as well as to get access to this awesome tool that we have where you can scan the entire list of brands on Walmart. I hope you enjoyed this video. We're continually producing new content to help you guys grow your Walmart business. We've got a bunch more of explaining the awesome features that we've developed for you guys. And if you want more, make sure you like this video, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.